Tamine Harkett, daughter of AHA frontman Morton Harkett, has stepped into the spotlight. But not just for her famous lineage. She's making waves with her music, specifically her new song, Kiendis, which translates to celebrity. The song takes a hard look at the underbelly of fame, and some think it directly calls out Norwegian influencer Sophie Elise. The lyrics paint a picture of someone chasing clout, someone who seems to crave attention, even negative attention. Sophie Elise has remained silent, but the internet is buzzing. Has Tamine Harkett ignited a full-blown celebrity feud? And more importantly, does this expose something rotten at the core of celebrity culture? Is it all becoming too toxic? Tamine Harkett isn't shying away from controversy. Her lyrics cut deep, with lines like, You're so obsessed with drama, you forgot your own trauma. Many believe these words are aimed directly at Sophie Elise, who has been open about her struggles with mental health, while simultaneously engaging in public feuds and attention-grabbing antics. Harkett seems to be questioning the authenticity of someone who profits off vulnerability while simultaneously courting scandal. Is it a fair critique? Or is it a step too far? Does Tomin have a right to weigh in on how someone else handles their fame, especially when mental health is involved? Chendis isn't just a catchy tune. It's a social commentary disguised as a pop song. The lyrics delve deep into the complexities of modern life, especially the digital age we live in. It's a reflection on how our lives are increasingly lived online, and how this virtual existence impacts our real-world interactions and self-perception. Harkett sings about the emptiness of chasing likes and the fleeting nature of online fame. The song highlights the superficiality of social media validation, where the number of likes and followers often takes precedence over genuine human connections and self-worth. She calls out the performative activism and the carefully curated personas that dominate social media. In a world where everyone is trying to present their best selves, the song questions the authenticity of these online personas and the impact they have on our mental health and societal values. The song is a wake-up call, not just for those in the spotlight, but for all of us who consume and contribute to this culture. It urges us to reflect on our own behavior and the ways in which we engage with social media. Are we mindlessly scrolling through feeds, or are we actively participating in meaningful conversations? Are we so addicted to drama that we've become desensitized to the real people behind the screens? The song challenges us to look beyond the sensationalism and recognize the human stories that often get lost in the noise of social media. Do we reward bad behavior with our clicks and comments? The song questions the ethics of our online interactions and the consequences of our digital actions. It asks us to consider whether we are contributing to a culture of negativity and outrage, or if we are fostering a more positive and supportive online community. Harkett's lyrics force us to ask ourselves some uncomfortable questions about the role we play in perpetuating this cycle. Are we willing to make changes in our online behavior to create a healthier digital environment? The song serves as a powerful reminder that we have the power to shape the culture of social media, and it starts with each one of us taking responsibility for our actions. Section 4. The Price of Fame. Analyzing Tomine's Perspective. Tamine Harkett, growing up with a famous father, has likely witnessed the highs and lows of celebrity firsthand. From an early age, she was exposed to the glittering allure of fame, but also to its darker, more challenging aspects. The constant attention, the lack of privacy, and the relentless pressure to maintain a public image are all part of the package. She's seen the pressure, the scrutiny, and the constant need to please the public. The demands of the spotlight can be overwhelming, leading to stress and anxiety. For someone like Tomin, who has been in the public eye since childhood, these experiences are deeply ingrained. Her song could be interpreted as a cautionary tale, a warning about the dangers of selling your soul for a taste of fame. The lyrics suggest a deep understanding of the sacrifices that come with celebrity status. It's a poignant reminder that the pursuit of fame can sometimes lead to losing oneself. 
Perhaps she's also calling out the hypocrisy of an industry that claims to value authenticity while simultaneously rewarding the most outrageous and attention-seeking behavior. The music industry, like many others, often prioritizes profit over genuine talent. This contradiction can be disheartening for true artists who strive for authenticity. Is Tamin suggesting that true artistry and genuine expression are getting lost in the pursuit of clicks and followers? In today's digital age, the pressure to go viral can overshadow the importance of creating meaningful art. The quest for online validation can dilute the essence of artistic expression. Is she urging us to demand more from our idols and from ourselves? Tamin's perspective challenges us to look beyond the superficial and seek deeper connections with the art and artists we admire. It's a call to value substance over spectacle, to appreciate the true essence of creativity and expression. In a world obsessed with fame and instant gratification, Tomin's message is a breath of fresh air. It encourages introspection and a re-evaluation of our values. By understanding the price of fame, we can better appreciate the genuine efforts of artists who remain true to themselves. Ultimately, Tomine's perspective is a powerful reminder of the importance of authenticity in an increasingly superficial world. Her insights offer a valuable lesson for both aspiring artists and their audiences. It's a call to cherish and support true artistry, to look beyond the glitter and glamour, and to find beauty in genuine expression. Section 5. Sophie Elise. Silence speaks volumes. Sophie Elise has remained notably silent on the matter. Despite the swirling rumours and the public's insatiable curiosity, she has chosen not to voice her thoughts or feelings. This silence has only fueled more speculation and intrigue. She hasn't responded to the song or addressed the speculation surrounding its meaning. The song, which many believe to be a direct critique of her, has sparked countless debates and discussions online. Yet Sophie Elise remains an enigma. Her silence a stark contrast to the noise around her. Some might interpret this as taking the high road, refusing to engage in a public spat. By not responding, she could be seen as maintaining her dignity and composure, choosing not to lower herself to the level of public bickering. Others might see it as an admission of guilt, a tacit acknowledgement that Harkett's criticisms hit a nerve. Her silence could be perceived as a way to avoid further incrimination or to prevent adding fuel to the fire. But silence itself can be a form of communication. In a world where everyone is constantly sharing their thoughts and opinions, choosing not to speak can be a powerful statement. It can convey strength, resolve, and a refusal to be drawn into unnecessary drama. Is Sophie Elise choosing to stay quiet to avoid further scrutiny? Perhaps she believes that any comment she makes will be dissected and analyzed, potentially causing more harm than good. In the age of social media, where every word is magnified, staying silent can sometimes be the safest option. Or is she protecting her brand, knowing that any response could be twisted and used against her? As a public figure, Sophie Elise is acutely aware of the power of perception. She understands that her brand is built on a delicate balance of authenticity and mystery. By not responding, she maintains control over her narrative. It's a delicate dance, Navigating the minefield of public opinion, especially when you've built your career on being an open book. Sophie Elise's silence might be her way of preserving her integrity and protecting her mental health. In a world that demands constant engagement, sometimes the most powerful response is no response at all. Section 6. The Allure of Attention. Understanding the Other Side. It's easy to judge from the outside, to condemn the attention-seeking behavior of celebrities. But what if it's not that simple? What if the constant need for validation stems from deeper insecurities? The pressure to be perfect, to maintain a certain image, can be crushing. Perhaps for some, the online world offers a sense of control, a way to curate their own narrative in a world that often feels chaotic and unpredictable. The likes, the comments, the followers, they become a form of currency, a measure of self-worth. Is it healthy? Probably not. But is it understandable? Perhaps.